Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Eric here, and this is rather embarrassing because I, uh, I started recording this, and I got, uh, I started recording this episode, and I actually got pretty far, but turns out I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't recording at all. So, with that, <laughs> with that being said, uh, I guess I'm going to have to do this over again, and I'll do it right this time. So, we're going to be playing Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Um, I've never really played Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I've only, I've only ever played, uh, one. That was pretty loud. Uh, I'm going to turn down some of the game volume, uh, uh, just a tad. I'm going to keep the voices up, but, like, the actual, like, game volume. Like, in the game and stuff like that, I'm going to turn down quite a bit. Mainly because I... Mainly because I feel like, uh, some of the stuff is going to be more louder than my voice and stuff like that. But anyway, um, we're going to start a brand new game. As you see, I did- I already went into like 35 minutes into the game. Uh, so, we're gonna be redoing this. We're gonna be redoing this right from the start. <laughs> uh, so this is gonna be a fortune. So, a long time ago in the galaxy, far, far away. I might get copyright for this, so I'm gonna- I wanna skip this. Can I skip this, please? Uh, I fear for couple of strikes and stuff like that. No, don't stop doing that. So we're going to play the course in Leech. So in, in this game, uh, you know, all the guys who think the new world, the Black Empire is going over the New Republic, and now holds countless world worlds in the Perfume. The Jedi Knights have been all been have have been all but destroyed, and only a handful have escaped Imperial forces. This is going into hiding across the galaxy. The Emperor's spies have located a lone Jedi Knight in the Wookiee homeworld of Kanishki, the number one side. And the Sith Lord Darth Vader has been sent to destroy him. So, with that being said, we're going to what well, most people say is probably one of the best, uh, well, at least one, one of the best, uh, starting, uh, point, one of the best starting levels in a game. We're going to be playing. So we start off as Darth Vader himself. Uh, we start off as Darth Vader himself, and we're gonna go uh, do the stuff. So yeah, the level starts off with Darth. Uh, so yeah, and uh, we're gonna be invading the Wookiee homeworld of Kanas to try and look for this Jedi. So we have the Force power. Force power. Ooh. Uh, the reason people say that this is probably one of the best uh, studying. Um, Levels in the game is because it really shows you how far you can get in the game. You start as Darth Vader, and then the player that you actually, the person you actually play as, uh, then uh, you eventually learn a lot of the moves that Darth that you use as Darth Vader. So yeah, let's just keep going through this. It should be a pretty simple level. Just reflect, just defeating a bunch of different Wookiees and the crossbow uh, stuff. Don't worry, none of them are Chewy because you know Chewy is canonically alive and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, yeah, we can get pretty powerful in knocking out just like these several, uh, just, just like these Wookiees off the bat. Of course, we can do a force grip and just like throw people around. We have two different um, abilities that we can do, uh, those being uh, Light Silver Throw and Force Propulsion. So yeah, we're just going to keep going through this, trying to get through this level, trying to find this lone Jedi and kill him. Because that's Order 66. Alright, it's oh, some stuff is freaking out, like that plant over there is freaking out. There's a bigger Wookiee, a very brutish one, and we're just gonna knock him out in like one hit. Just push out that guy out of the way. So yeah. 
Adventure of Force Power will be so great that it like instantly regenerates like super fast. As you see right there, oh, boom, we used all of it, now it's just like boom, all followed up. So yeah. Let's get through this. Hey, you stop that. Let's just push everything out of the way, cause you know, we don't give a shit. And extra powerful force push. Turn them all, cause we are a Darth Vader and we don't care. As a kid, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one on this. As a kid, I always I'm pronouncing it as uh, Dark Vader, because I thought that that's how you actually say it. So yeah. Pushing on that. Uh, we're just going to keep going through this. We're getting the... Um, so yeah. Um, for those of you guys who... I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious, where, as you see in my... Uh... Oh, I can like home in on him. I didn't know I could do that. Well, as you can see with all those different Star Wars games I have downloaded, I'm actually a pretty, uh, I'm a fan of Star Wars. Probably not, like, the hugest fan of Star Wars. I'm not, like, crazy about it. But I do really like it. I do really like uh, it and a lot of concept it has. It's probably one of the best uh, sci-fi worlds ever created. That's what I would say. My opinion, of course. Anyway, let's just keep going through this. More of these uh, booty wookies. Just push them back like they're little bitches. Because we do not give a fuck at all. Hey, you. Die. You. Just get roasted and toasted. Of course, there are like, some cool little commas we can do by pressing buttons at the right time. Yuji. Usually, by pressing the B button at the right time, you can add in some force stuff into your combos. There are like some uh, pauses and waits that you can do in some of these combos. Yeah, it's a very cool game. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's just keep going down here. Oh, it's like. Uh, since Dark Vader doesn't have a dash, unlike uh, the character that we will be playing as has a dash, I'm going to be jumping around with him a lot. Since you know Dark Vader is very slow. Anyway, you guys, you guys just need to like, go away. Let's just cut up these guys a bit more. Hey, you! Stop being such a butt. And you? I'm throwing you away. Like last week's uh, leftovers. That's a pretty lame joke right there, if you can even call that a joke. Pushing you guys away. Oh! Hi! Die. Nice and simple. Just carrying them with just the might of the voice right now. It's pretty nice. Hey, where'd they go? I don't know about this. Oh, there you are. Now you're dead. Bye bye. All right, let's keep going. We're reaching the end here. Dark Lord, whatever you want, you won't find it here. You cannot disguise yourself from me, Jedi. Turn back. Alright, so there are no uh, subtitles as far as I know in this game, so, well, as I looked through the options, there was none. So, you guys are going to have to deal with... It's going to be, like, mainly me trying to shut up as best as I can. Along with, uh, you guys trying to, you know, really pay attention to what they're saying. Oh! Win the game's nice of a lot. Press, uh, rapidly tap X to win. Yeah, this game does have some quick time events. That you can do. Uh, I haven't. Not the best with quick time events, so. So I won't be doing like the most with them. Hey, stop that. Can you like. Not. Right now. Hey, 
Um, oh, you're trying to grab that TIE Fighter. And you're exploring it. That's cool, that's cool. I mean, I'm gonna come in on you. You can just, like, you know, stop being a little bitch. And just take this lightsaber in your face. Stabbing it right there. Hey, can you not? I'm trying to kill you here. Thanks. Uh, can, can, can you not? I'm trying to kill you. Oh my gosh. It's Finally, there he goes. He's dying. Oh, knocked the lights over of his hand. Now, B. Force choking. B. Throw him around like a lag dog, like the lag dog he is. Ooh, ow. And now B again. To blast him straight in there. Your master. The dark side has clouded your mind. You killed my master years ago. Then now you will share his fate. A son. Run! Lord Vader. found you. Now your hatred has become your strength. At last, the dark side is your ally. Rise, my apprentice. What is your will, my master? Your training is nearly complete. It is time to face your first true test. Your spies have located a Jedi? Yes, Master Ram Kota. He is attacking a critical Imperial shipyard. Destroy him and bring me his lightsaber. I shall leave at once, Master. The Emperor cannot discover you. Leave no witnesses. Kill everyone aboard, Imperials and Kota's men alike. As you wish, my Master. The reason for that is because Darth Vader doesn't want to be finding out that uh, because you know there's the rule of two. Ah, master! Another excellent duel! Oh, Proxy, you did catch me by surprise. I haven't fought that training program in years. I thought you'd erased it. Oh, I'd hoped that using an older training module would catch you off guard and allow me to finally kill you. I'm sorry I failed you again. Well, I'm sure you'll keep trying. Yeah, but do me a favor. Don't ambush me anytime. Ooh, who's she? Proxy. Yes, why are we whispering? Shh, who's that? Ah, uh, yes. Your new pilot has finally arrived, Master. Accessing Imperial Records. Captain Juno Eclipse, born on Coralag, where she became the youngest student ever accepted into the Imperial Academy. Decorated combat pilot with over 100 combat missions and commanding officer during the bombing of Kalos. Handpicked by Lord Vader to lead his Black Five Squadron, but later reassigned to a top secret mission. Is there a psychological profile in there too? Actually, yes, but it's restricted. Oh, Master, I can tell you she's going to be impossible to reprogram. Do you know why you're here? Yes. My orders are clear. I'm to keep your ship running and fly you wherever your missions require. Did Vader tell you that he killed our last pilot? No. 
but I can only assume that he gave Lord Vader good reason to do so. I will not. Well, let's hope so. I'm sick of training new pilots. What have you done to my ship? Mm -hmm. I've uh, taken the liberty of upgrading the Rogue Shadow sensor array. Mm. Now you'll be able to spy on any suspect ships within the entire system. You are one of Vader's spies. You don't need to know anything about my missions except where I'm going. Now I need to jump to Nar Shaddaa. Can you handle that? Mm. Of course. Sassy. I think he likes her. Anyway, um, we'll get through uh, this cutscene and all uh, because this game has a tendency to, uh, you know, uh, not do s certain things. Anyway, welcome aboard the Vogue Shadow Master. Uh, this is Proxy speaking. That's uh, his robot. I don't think he mentioned it. Uh, it's his training robot that he uses. So we're going to be learning a bit of. That's some, just some quick stuff, um, RT, RT is like force stuff, uh, and then our sticks can determine how we move around stuff. We can use things to smash, uh, things like this, like so, like, like what I'm doing, just smashing it. And then if we throw it in a new direction and we... If we throw it in a direction, and we release it at the same time, we just, like, toss it. Well, we have to have enough force power to do so. Oh, I messed up. Anyway. Let's just do this real quick. Simple tutorial. A way simple tutorial in the last one. I mean, in the second one. The second tutorial took quite a while. Anyway. Let's continue in this cutscene. I might do the entire episode. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna say this now. A lot of missions are pretty long, so Price episodes are gonna time. be long. According to Imperial records, Master Ram Koda was a respected general in the Clone Wars. You're hunting Jedi. I bring Darth Vader's enemies to justice. Now so do you. Master Koda was a military genius, but felt that clone soldiers were unfit for battle. Instead, he relied on his own militia. So, there were no clones in his squad when Order 66 was issued? And after Order 66, he vanished. Official Imperial records actually claim he's dead. Why come out of hiding and attack the Empire now? He wants to be found. Then we're walking into a trap. How many pilots have you lost before me? Seven. Excellent. <laughs> Seven. Coordinates for Nashadar are locked. Prepare for light speed. Well, Lock down the command center and get that hologram projector up and running. Yes, sir. Tell all squads to fan out and funnel any opposition towards us. Explosive charges on levels 2, 5, and 12, just like we planned. General Coda. He's here. The rogue one. The rogue shadow. I've finally drawn you out of hiding. Lower the containment field on Hangar 12 and tell the men to get into position. Yes, General. So he thinks that Vader has finally come, but little does he know. Eclipse to Star Killer. I'll be moving the well, rogue shadow oh yeah, out of our name hasn't reached to now. That Star Killer is here instead. The, the, the boy that the boy that he decided to take in. Captain Eclipse out. You know what I mean? Oh, that moment trouble. Anyway, now we're going in and doing this. Starkiller is... I really like the design of Starkiller. I mean, he, he does look pretty basic, but I do like the way that uh, he carries himself. The fact that he has... Uh, the fact that he carries his lights... He holds his lightsaber like this. Oh. Goodbye, droid. The, the fact that he holds his lightsaber like this just... You know, the little fanboy in me, uh, this way really likes it. Because, you know, I'm a nerd like that. Alright, let's be up these blocks. And then we're just going through. As Stark Panda said, we can't let the Emperor know that we exist, so we have to kill every single person. 
not only just not only just the rebels in our in our way, but also the Imperials. So right there, we just got Sith Holocom. Sith Holocoms are triangle shaped, and they and those just like little boost a power that's given to you. And then there are Jedi Holocrones that we will be finding. Jedi Holocrones, uh, you know, I'll explain Jedi Holocrones when we do find one. We just first gotta get, uh, kill all these guys. Because, you know, I can't leave anyone left behind. And this game actually does have, like, a little RPG element into it. We can level up and actually boost up some of stuff. Like, um... Like learning new combos, just becoming more powerful, gaining more health, uh, gaining more force powers, and gaining new force abilities. We just can learn a bunch of different stuff. Of course, we just gotta keep paying guys to do this. Let's just keep going like this. Let's just go the last remaining few in here, and we'll continue on. I didn't do this in my previous recording, but hey, uh, I accidentally skipped uh, through some of the cutscenes. There's actually a Jedi Holocom up there that I will find, that I will touch with my hands. First, I just go get this guy. A lot of people are showing up. Alright, so let's just jump up there and we collect our first Jedi Holocom. Jedi Holocoms uh, either give you po uh, Force Points, which is uh, experience. Uh, they can either give you a, a lights of a crystal, either a color one, which changes the color, or a power one, which uh, gives you extra power. I see the white bar right there in the middle is our power. And they also give you uh, costumes, or just like, as, or as I said before, just like more points. So yeah. And of course they will be yellow, and they'll be yellow. They're like the main like little thing that you... Uh, little collectible, they're like the main collectible that's here in the game. So we try to find that a lot. Anyway, uh, I don't know where you are, but you're dead now. So yeah. Of course, we also have... Yeah, so we're just going to be going through this uh, level. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to... I mean, there was this one uh, ho holochrome that I wasn't able to get. Because uh, I don't think I, I don't think I was doing it right, but I was able to get a certain Holocom. So yeah. Anyway, what's in here? Another Jedi Holocom with more Force points. So yeah, let's just keep going through here. Oh yeah, they uh, some of them. I forgot to mention that some of the Jedi Holocoms in this game, at least. Just like flat out give you a point that you can use for upgrading. And in this and in this game, uh, as I saw, unlike in the second one, there is only um, the, the upgrades are divided up into different things. So every time you level up, you get a rank up in different uh, things. Blue spears are for force powers, like uh, just unlocking new force moves. Or just like piling up your current moves. Uh, the red ones are for combos, and the yellow ones are for boosting up abilities. So, yeah, we're gonna do that right now. I don't think I have any lightsaber stuff. But, you know, I will have to check. Of course, lightsaber just like does a nice little crystal. And then these are the live stuff that you can put in your crystal that powers that up. But uh, let's just go into the force upgrades. So yeah, uh, here, uh, so yeah, the, unlike in the second game as well, I know, uh, these are divided up into their own little things. So yeah, so we're going to upgrade our force push. So now what we can do is that we can now hold down B in order to charge our force push. And once we boost up all the way, and then uh, enemies also are actually taking more damage from it. In force talents, these, of course, these are just are like regular things, boosting up defense. Uh, combo stuff uh, and all kinds of different stuff. Well, I feel like I want to do for at least for the first one, I want to boost up Saber Mastery. This is just like regular uh, damage. And then, of course, combos. And in new different moves, we already have a bunch of different stuff. But we can learn new moves. Um, we already have a bunch of other moves. These are just like learning more different moves that you can just uh, perform in battle. So I'm going to learn Saber Sling. So, yeah. 
Who have been said, let's uh, continue with this. Oh, there's some bonus uh, stuff that I can do. Uh, there's, I can destroy five time fighters to get more stuff. Collect law force points and find the 15 different holocrones. Alright. I believe those are the Jedi ones I'm supposed to be trying to find. I don't remember. I know the holocrones are pretty well hidden amongst, uh, everywhere. Everywhere. You just have to really do your best to try to find them. Anyway, there's more guys over here. Let's just throw that at them. Let's throw that at that guy. And you? Keep your head down. I'm gonna come in straight at you. Let's like excite you up. Oh! I just saw two TIE fighters. I didn't even mean to do that. Story three. I guess I just hold this up here and just wait for one to come by. All right. Let me just like hold this like right up in this biz now. I don't know how to do it, but you know I'll do it later. Let's just continue on. Oh, I destroyed one? Okay. <laughs> just keep going. So, yeah. Let's just keep doing this. I, uh, oh, also, I should probably mention the fact of why I wanted to do this game. Uh, for one, uh, since you know the, the Last Jedi movie came out, so on Steam, there's actually a, a bot. I'm pretty sure all the Star Wars games are all on sale and you can like get them all for like nice cheap prices I'm put there is even a bundle for like uh, 17 bucks to get Schematic all of the games uh, but I didn't buy all the games I just bought all the ones that were interesting uh, that interest me so like I saw that these uh, the force unleashed and the and the force unleashed 2 on here so I'm just like hey why not uh, play those games? And I was like, hey, you know what I can really do? I can like do a let's play for them. I just got forced talent spear, so I can now boost up a thing in my talents. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna boost up uh, one of these, force focus. So then uh, it increases uh, the natural amount of force power I have. So yeah, let's just keep going. Uh, just knock out these guys. So, yeah. I do say that uh, it's quite a shame uh, ever since. Uh... Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Ever since Disney did get the rights to Star Wars, that a lot of these things are no longer canonical. Uh, because there was a lot of stuff that you could have used in order to, you know. Um, you know, used to like to support different theories, but now you won't be able to any longer. What's, what's down there? Is that the? Oh, I guess that's the lower level. Okay, yeah, you won't be able to use like uh, stuff anymore for like theories, like like Starker now doesn't even exist in in the current universe, which is quite a shame. Cause I really like Starker. Uh, one of my more favorite characters, even though he, there's not much of a character to him, really. If I am to be honest, he doesn't have much of a character. Well, he does try to gain one, but you know, isn't that isn't that good of a character? I will make the thoughts of certain characters. But yeah, let's just keep going. How many? I only need one more. I only need one more tie fighter. I'm gonna use this time to try to kill one. If one will pass by. Let's just keep going this way then, shall we? I forgot that uh, you can dash. Keep going, and that's a thing. Oh yeah, let's keep going. Gotcha. 
stone far, far away. Anyway, should I find a tie fighter, shall we? Why are they? Crap, I missed. Oh well. I can always just do those things later. Alright, let's keep going here. Trying to cut these guys. Alright. Just keep cutting up these guys a bit. Yes. Get this. More force power. Oh, ow. It actually hurt me quite a bit. There goes, I did it. Did that count? How did that, th How did that not count? That's stupid. Hey you, go away. Maybe you're just trying to wait for one. Hey, how did that not work? Hmm, this is starting to get quite annoying. Come on. So there hasn't been another one coming this way. So, what? I didn't want to keep it. Oh well. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Don't want to spend I'm all day. I'm picking up a lot of comlink chatter just a few levels above you. You're nearing General Kota. Hey you. Go away. This is Sip Harcom. As I said before, uh, they give you like a little temporary boost. My damage is increased. Those guys should be quite easy to get rid of. Take him down. So I'm coming this way. It's easy to take these guys out. Let's fuck back that back at him and let's keep going, shall we? Hey you! I don't like your face. Oh. That guy. Easy, got rid of him. Those turns guys were really annoying uh, when I was first uh, going through these. Maybe because you know, I don't really like enemies that shoot from afar. Oh, they just uh, get quite annoying, even though the easiest to take down. Anyway. Oh, a bunch of people. This is not going to be good for me, is no, is it? Oh, Ow. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, gosh, I always. Heat levels like these. Crap! How are you getting a hit in at all? Come on, get rid of him. Nice and easy now. Level up. Of course, level up's gonna heal me up instantly. Can 
I grab that? Yeah, I can. Anyway, we got some lightsaber upgrades. Let's upgrade. Uh, let's see, we got one here. Uh, that won't be used for anything. We got one over here. What does this do? Increases the speed. That would be nice. We got two, so now we can do this. Uh, yeah, we can do that. We'll learn Sif Saber Fury. So it's a, a strike, pause, strike, pause, strike, pause. Like that. And this, of course, is going to be hard to kind of, it's going to be quite hard to use with uh, uh, the people we're going to be fighting. So like, strike, pause, strike, pause, strike. There it goes. Nice and easy. Ready to carry one here? Oh, that was pretty simple. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, this is... I'm doing better now. Let's just keep slicing down. Hey, that's not very nice of you. Is none of them, like, reflecting on him? And that's easier. Oh, that was one right. That was something right there. All uh, drain that uh, gradually like just drains the health off of all the enemies in the surround surrounding me, like so. Oh, I didn't even know I could grab onto that one from this height. Is there one over here? Oh, those! I heard some static. That's not good. All right, you're dead. All right, let's keep going now. I'm getting closer and closer. What's over here? Nothing. Quick time event, quick time event, quick time event. Always gotta use quick time events against these bigger guys. I don't even know what that one's called in AT. I don't know what kind of AT that is. I mean, that guy is. Uh, you just shooting, shooting at nothing now. Alright. Just come on top of these. I don't know why I can grab onto that. It's kinda weird. Oh! I can just like flat out throw it out. Oh, okay. Alright, now to assemble the wing assembly line. Oh, he's a governor of those guys. Oh! Ooh. Fell all the way down. Are you guys still alive? No. Because the enemies always fed away. Oh, wasn't able to get around to that. Anyway, now we wait. Just a nice little wait. Yeah, Star Color enjoys this nice elevator music. Alright, let's keep going. We'll go this way. We could probably figure out if you hit those things, uh, everything starts to fall apart. Let's keep going. Oh. Oh, crap. There's a holocone. Holocone up there. So let's go... Try and get that. 
I'm gonna I'm not gonna try and get every single one, but every single one I do see I'm gonna at least attempt to get. So as I see right here, what I can probably do is cut this. Okay, let's see what I can actually do now. I jumped uh, a bit too early, so it'd be better for me to jump right here. So then I can jump over here and collect these hollow clones. Oh, God, come on. Okay. I'm just gonna climb up there now. Maybe there's one like that that I can go use. That's annoying. Move those out of the way for easier access. More force points. Alright, let's keep going. Alright. Easily. Going through these guys. Now over here. Ah, there was a hollow coin right there where I had lots of trouble trying to get. Oh. Ow. Stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill these guys before I do anything else. And before I try to go from that hollow phone. Because I don't want people shooting at me while I'm trying to collect items. Is there anything over here? That's the way I came in. Okay. So now I had trouble trying to collect that one. Because I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do it here. Am I supposed to insert this in here somewhere? Legit, have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to connect this in here. Alright, so what I was trying to do was try to do that. It wasn't really working out that well. Not sure why. I mean, it looks like I can like, do that, but. Didn't let me know. Uh, put this in somewhere else in here. Do I know how exactly you're supposed to try to get that one? So someone can grab onto here that I can do. Just, just gonna try to look around. I'm not really sure how you do this. Um, for any people who do know, obviously you can try to tell me in the comments below what I'm doing wrong. And then I'll feel like an idiot for not being able to get it. Oh well. Uh, let's not try and spend too much time on it because I actually spent way too much time on it last time. Uh, trying to f Just trying to figure out what to do, man. Alright, just... Slicing and dicing so many people. Oh gosh. Hey you. Alright. Slicing and dicing. More killing. Because you know, I mean, we have killer in our name, so. I just want to live up to it, no? Hey! You stop that. Alright. He's dead. There's no one right there. There he goes. Bonus objective completed. I unlocked a thing. Okay, cool. Is there only one thing we can learn in here? Uh, dashing. Alright. In here I still need to get a bit more before I can start doing stuff, but oh well. Uh, I don't have any costumes, right? 
as far as I know. I'm just not offering any. Oh! I already have some. Probably because I think I downloaded the DLC version of the game. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of costumes. Just in the DLC version. Huh. One of these. And of course, these are the Lego ones. Okay. I didn't know I can already. I didn't know I already had costumes. I can put them on later, I guess. Put on for the next mission. Next mission, I'll put on a costume. Costumes don't really do much, really. They just, like, give you a nice little character to look at. Or, like, feel like you're, uh, like. As you saw right there, there's a costume of Luke, so you can feel like you're an evil Luke uh, going to the ranks. But. Alright, so let's go through here. Let me make sure there's no cut clothes I'm missing. So you now you can always, like, easily miss those. Hey, you. Stop that. Oh, those explode. That's what been exploding me. Hey, go in. You see that laser right there? You should probably go in there. Thanks, bud. Anyway, there's a holocron. Alright. Health drain. Increase fire, man! Oh yeah, those guys throw bombs. I keep forgetting that. I like this health drain because it really helps out with uh, setting with certain enemies, which are very annoying, like uh, this one. All of these white uh, guys, which have the batons, uh, the light table poop batons that I see everywhere. You know, because everyone has those. Oh, I level up. That's cool. See, this is a combo I don't really like because you know these guys. Oh gosh, crap! crap. Okay. That was very annoying. But okay. I have one in here. I don't have any more like singles I can do. I still need more in here. Does is there any one that I can do in here? This is the amount of time to do charge. It takes to use force combos. Defense. Get behind some cover. There he goes, carrying some people. Alright, there he goes, I'm in a roll now. I'm on a roll, I'm carrying people, I'm gaining health. Ow, that hurts. Alright. Problem solved now. Always. It's always so annoying. Every time something like that happens. Kind of crystal heat. Any kind of holocron here. Keep me covered. Looks like it's just that Sif holocron down there, which I'll go pick up. Damage increase. These gents nice and easily. There's Hawkum over there, huh? Alright. More force points. No crystal yet. I haven't found one which is just like a flat out crystal. Oh, there's a thing back here. I'll go check it out. Nothing in here. I guess I should do a bit more exploring. Ow. Hey, you up there. Oh, 
There he goes. Nice and easy now. There's some stuff down here that I can probably check out. Maybe they have a Hulkum in here. Yep. Force power. I'm gonna go look around in some of these. Let's see what I can find. Alright, let's check the other side now. It's closed off. Do I already check this one? No. Nothing back here. And then I checked. No, I did check that one. Okay. Now, I mean, that's done, that's done, that's done. This that's is just it. Cursor is just above you now. I'm ready. Alright. Now, time for the boss fight. I'm gonna be fighting uh, Con Koda? Koba? Ko Koda? Koba? I forget his name. Months of attacking Imperial targets and Vader sends a boy to fight me? Coda. Alright, let's just start slicing and dicing here. Didn't Vader teach you anything? You have so much to learn about the Force. Hey, shut up. Alright, I'm learning how to dodge. I'm getting better at this, because last time I was actually doing pretty Oh! You're stronger than I thought! But I can't let you live, boy. Stop calling me, boy. Be sure to send your ashes back to Vader. Oh, uh, Oh! That is really strong. He's taking us both down. I want to do this, that. boy. All right, let's do this. Ooh, ow! I actually stabbed him. If I have to go through you to get to Vader, then so be it. Oh, he knows the lights are throw. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, what they do? I just gotta try to dodge. All right, let's get back at it and start slicing and dicing. Don't make me put you down, boy. Pretty simple for. Uh, I guess actually technically second boss fight since we had one with Beta. Blasted Sith scum! Hey, shut up! You're a level scum. He's blocking a lot, that's the thing. There he goes, he's not blocking anymore. Now that I'm like, taking this ass. Oh. Oh, time for quick time event. X. A. I messed it up so many times when I was first doing it. B. Push him down. Vader thinks he's turned you, but I can sense your future. And Vader won't always be your master. I sense only me. Die! Damn. That's a good thing to say. Anyway, we're just throwing him out. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure he is dead. Oh wait, gotta get his lightsaber. Grab the light server and let's go. Alright, picked up just in time. Anyway, uh, we collected enough force points. That was the thing that we did. Uh, didn't collect enough hollow clones. It was 15 of them. Didn't destroy five tag fires. But we did uh, kill a lot of enemies. Muti Saboteur, Imperial Soldiers, Muti Troop, and then of course, Ram Koda. Um, what we did unlock is that we unlocked some concept art, a costume, more force power, a new campaign mission unlocked, cinematic stuff, and a light some crystal. Alright. Master.
Master Kota is dead? Yes. His lightsaber. My spies have located another Jedi. Kasdan Paratus is far more powerful than you. I do not expect you to survive. But if you destroy him, you'll be one step closer to your destiny. The Emperor. Yes. Only together can we defeat him. I will not fail you, my master. Ooh, a new costume for him. Amazing. It looks just like the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Proxy, are you picking up any communications? Too many to decipher. I can hear thousands of droids all calling out to each other. Hmm. This is Wonder where why. all droids go to die. Oh, that's why. Set us down as close to that thing as you can. I'll do my best. There are not many clearings. You'll need to approach the temple on foot. Giant scrap heap. Next mission, then. I'm returning to low orbit. Scanners show you'll need to make it through that large hyperdrive core in front of you. Once on the other side, you should be able to reach. Anyway, that being said, uh, that's gonna be in the episode here. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys would like to see more of The Force Unleashed. It's a pretty cool game and stuff like that. Oh, I'm going to have to try to cut this down a bit. That's when I'm for too long. Anyway, I see. Yeah, as I said before, uh, these things can really go on for a very long time, mainly because of the, all the cutscenes. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye bye. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.